So here we have the list of products with their stock levels indicators. If we have the enough numbers for the quantity of the product, then it will say in stock. And if they are below 10, then it will be shown in this warning type of color. And if it is out of stock, then it will be shown in red color. So today we are going to build this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 33rd video of real world JavaScript series. So here we are using this DOM content loaded event. And after that, here we have this products array where we have ID, name, price, image, and stock of the products. And here we have the function which indicates the stock levels. And for that, here we have this logic. If a stock level is greater than and 10 then in that case we will add the class in stock and this class is inside our style.css file and here we can see that in stock and the color is green and in the similar way we have the classes for a stock level greater than zero and then for else condition that is out of stock and for this out of stock inside our css file here we have the styling for it and at the end we are just returning the indicator which is a div that we have created here and here we have the logic for rendering the products onto our ui and here we are utilizing this create stock indicator function where we are passing the stock of our product and it will Will give us that div and later we will append this div into our card body that is what we are doing here and here we have this render products function that initially loads our products onto our ui okay so this was the whole overview of the code in case you need this code then github repository link is present inside the description of this video now before we take a look on our ui there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like and here we have the ui